So if we divide 100% by 3, because we have 3 divs, it will be 33.33. .33. So let's do that. So we have 3 divs. And if we, uh, if we divide 100 by 3, it's going to be, uh, you know, 33.33. .33. So let me just add the width of 33.33% .33 here. So that's one. I'm going to add this one to the second one too. And it doesn't matter, you know, if you place, um, you know, spacing doesn't matter in CSS. But I'm just doing it so you'll see the code better. I'm, I'm going to format it right now so it will look better. All right, so I have the width, so the same width for, the, for all of them. If you take a look at them, they are still stacked and they are all aligned to the left. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically, let's see, let me format the code. So I'm going to press Control A. I'm using VS Code and Alt Shift F. Okay, so now my code is formatted, and you see it's nicer, so it's it's cleaner now. So, let's keep number one here to the left, and I'm going to move number two to the middle, and number three right here to the right. So, what I'm going to do is, for the first one, since I want it to stay to the left, I'm going to say float colon left. Alright, so that's going to stay there, nothing is going to happen. And for number two, you know, if you want to move something to the middle, all you have to do is you have to say, so you have to set the width first. So we have the width there already. And we can say margin dash left auto and margin dash right auto. Margin dash right auto. And if we take a look at it, you'll notice that it's going to be centered. So number two is already here. And for number three, we are going to float it to the right. So number three is right here. So I'm going to say float right. And if we take a look at it, you'll notice, you know, uh, that this one has, you know, is floated to the right. But this empty space, you know, I want this one to align, you know, with the other divs. So to fix this, if you have watched my short video, you should know how to do this. But if you have not, it's okay. You know, for the middle div, all you have to do is you have to add the display inline block. So this display inline dash block. As you do that, you'll notice that they will be perfectly, you know, placed next to each other. So now you might say, okay, I want to use some padding. So you see, there is some text here. You might say, okay, I'm going to add some padding here. So this is the last part that I have not shown you in the previous videos. So padding 20 pixels. All right. And if you use padding, you will notice that the layout will be broken. So now this is a big issue. You might be saying, okay, your video did not help me at all. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. So at the top, so inside of the style, we are going to use shift number eight. To use the asterisk with the asterisk you can use it you are you selecting everything and you are going to open two clip braces all right and then you are going to say box dash sizing border box and as i do that you'll notice that our divs are back to are back to next to each other but this one you see has used some padding there and our layout is not broken because we have simply said, okay, don't count padding. So if you don't use this property right here, the asterisk box sizing border box, what's going to do, you know, what's going to do is when you are using the padding, it adds the padding to the width of, um, you know, the div here. So that's why it breaks it. But if you use this property, it's not going to break it and it's going to you know, simply, uh, it will not add padding to, uh, you know, the width of the div. All right. So one more thing. What if you are saying that, uh, you, let's say that you want to have more space in the middle than the other ones. Well, if we, if you want more space 
to one div, you know, you can simply reduce the width of one div and add it to another div. So you see, now we have all of them 33.33, .33, and they are all equal. So they have equal sign, but they are all equal now. So now, what I'm going to do is, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to take 3% from the left and 3 from the right, and I'm going to add it to the middle one. So instead of saying 33.33, .33, I'm going to say simply 30. So this one will be 30. And this one is the right one. I'm going to change it to 30 also. So we have like six points in our hands. So if we add that six numbers, so this will be, the middle one will be 39.33. Now this one has more space than the other ones. One more thing before I go, you might be asking, okay, how about uh, stretching? Well, you know, the more content you add to the devs, you know, the more they stretch. So they'll basically stretch based on the content that you add. So I'm going to add some, let me repeat this number a couple of times. And if we take a look at it, you'll know that it's stretching itself based on, uh, you know, based on the content. However, if you want to add, you know, a custom uh, height, you'll be able to simply add, uh, you know, some custom height. So let me zoom out so I can go back to the code. So I can say, for example, this one I can say height, choose 100 pixels. So I have 100 pixels here. And as you know, it's 100 pixels. But, you know, if you have like 100, like the same height for all of them, so this is one more thing. This is something will happen. So you see, they have all equal, um, you know, equal height. But if you add content here, you know, it will probably, you know, um, overflow. So whatever you add, for example, if I add more numbers here, let me add, it's not numbers. Let me add, let me repeat this one. So let me repeat it a couple more times. You'll notice that it's over overflow now. So to fix this problem is simply to remove the height. So let me zoom out what happened to the code. So I have a long code here. Let me just scroll back. So you see, if I simply remove the custom height here, so let me zoom in. So if I remove the custom height here, if I just delete that property, and if I just take a look at it, you'll notice that is going to stretch itself based on the content. So I hope this video was helpful everyone. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.